When you look at technical job ads these days, many require some knowledge about Amazon Web Services. Regardless of whether you are a programmer, data scientist, data engineer, DevOps, database administrator, data analyst, or a manager, knowing Amazon Web Services is an important skill. Even if some company uses a different cloud provider, the main concept of cloud storage, compute, or networking are quite similar across all vendors. In the following video, I list free resources that are extremely helpful in learning Amazon Web Services. One, edX courses offered by Amazon Web Services. Amazon Web Services created a range of high-quality courses hosted on edX. Those courses will walk you through a range of services with numerous demos, exercises, and reviews of important concepts along the way. There is an option to pay around. $100 per course and obtain a certificate, but you don't need to do that. You can just audit the course for free and gain a lot of value from it. 2. Quick Labs I am a strong proponent of learning by doing. Quick Labs is a platform that provides a pre-configured cloud environment which is especially valuable for people who are just starting working with Amazon Web Services. The platform allows you to try out different services without fear of doing something wrong or getting a large bill at the end in case you forget to shut down some resources. Even though you will likely not learn as much as doing everything yourself in your own Amazon Web Services account, the platform provides you with an environment where all resources you need to learn a particular service. For example, IAM roles, security groups are set up. On top of that, the tutorials give you a short introduction to a particular service and step-by-step -step instructions to accomplish a specific task. 3. Amazon Web Services Free Tier There is no better way of learning anything than by actually experimenting with it in real life. Amazon Web Services offers a free tier for your first 12 months, which gives you limited access to the most popular services. You can create your own account, set up a billing alarm to avoid unnecessary charges, and start provisioning resources and interacting with services of your choice. 4. The Official Training Website If you want to understand Amazon Web Services in depth, the best resource is likely the Official Training and Certification page which includes numerous free resources that cover both theoretical foundations and practical implications of using specific services. I can recommend it especially if you plan to get certified as there are many courses specifically designed to prepare for a certification exam. 5. Amazon Web Services YouTube Channel Amazon Web Services has an official YouTube channel that includes tutorials, videos from conferences, and demos showing how to work with their services. Ideally, you can use it in combination with a free tier account so that you can directly try out things we have learned. 6. Amazon Web Services Podcast Amazon Web Services also has an official podcast in which they share updates to their offerings, advice on specific topics, and user stories. The podcast is also available on Google Podcasts so that you can easily listen to it on your commute and in your downtime. 7. Free Udemy Courses there are many paid but also some free courses which assume no prior knowledge of Amazon Web Service on Udemy. 8. 
Amazon Web Services documentation. Probably the most boring, but at the same time, the most useful resource that you will inevitably use a lot when working with Amazon Web Services is the documentation of specific services. Every service has a get started section that will guide you step by step to provision and configure specific resources. 9. Frequently asked questions. This may also sound boring, but I found that many frequently asked questions are really useful in understanding the specific services in that. In a simple question answer form, you can quickly expand your knowledge of a specific topic. If you plan on getting certified, frequently asked questions can provide really useful. Amazon Web Services admitted that their exam questions are heavily based on frequently asked questions. 10. The official Amazon Web Services GitHub page. At the time of editing, Amazon Web Services has over 300 repositories. If you want to learn how to use specific SDKs or find example code to get you started in your project, the chances are that there is already some repository that will include useful code examples. 11. Events Amazon Web Services is hosting many events and webinars which allow you not only to learn but also to connect with others and ask questions. 12. Reddit and Stack Overflow Often, if you get stuck, you may want to ask somebody with more experience to help you move forward. One obvious place to ask questions in software engineering is Stack Overflow. Apart from that, I found that the R AWS subreddit is a great place to ask questions and stay up to date.